Now let's learn how to add an intermediate stop to the current route. Let's suppose we want to pass through the Columbia Plateau State Park because we want to see the landscape around there or it could be another reason. So in the panel we can find an option to add the destination. Let's click on that. We can either type the name of the place here or select it directly on the map. That's what I'm going to do. So as you can see the state park has been added as another destination but it's placed after Cheney and we don't want that. We just want to stop there or pass through it along the route but that's easy to fix. Using this control we can rearrange the order of the stops. Now look, our route goes through Columbia Plateau State Park perfectly as I wanted and you can see the time was also updated taking now around 1 hour and 6 minutes. Ok, when using Google Maps on a computer to search for directions it's useful to get a visual idea of the route and if there are any crossroads or turns you are worried about missing. I personally like to use Street View when available to see how the area looks like. Sometimes there are road signs like this one that can help me remember the spot more easily. Then as an alternative we can check the details of the route. Here we can see all the turns and steps we will need to follow during the drive. I'm going to expand this section and click on this turn. You can see the map shows the exact location and in this thumbnail we can explore the street view there and this is also a great way to view intersections as we can change the perspective by clicking on the map below. One of the most useful tools when searching for directions is the option to send them to your phone and it will display the mobile phone linked to your Google account. However, keep in mind that this sends the directions immediately, which is only useful if you are ready to start traveling. In case you want to use these directions later, you can copy the link instead. You can send it to your email or save it in a notes app, something that you can open it on your phone when you will need it. Finally, there is another way to modify the route. You can click and drag any point on the path to a place you want to pass through. That point will be added to the route and marked on the map. Then if you decide that you don't want that point anymore, simply click on it and the route will return to the previous path. So you can adjust the route several times until you are happy with the result. I find this interesting for checking distances between, for example, two towns passing through specific places. Now, there is a disadvantage with this method. If I send the directions to my phone or copy the link, the custom changes won't be saved because Google Maps will recalculate the route again from scratch without any modifications. Now I'm going to search for driving directions in a big city, for example London. I'm going to click on directions again and for the starting point let's choose the Trafalgar Square which is right in the heart of the city. For the destination I'm going to move a bit north and click in this place, the Clissold Park. So as you can see the directions are calculated and you can see in the panel the fastest route which will take around 33 minutes if you depart at this moment. Notice also that the travel time is in red color which means the route takes longer than usual and also if you look at the map you can see several red parts which probably suggests heavy traffic in those areas. At this moment it's 8 a.m. in London, which is rush hour, and that's why travel times are a bit longer. 
Then let's change the departure time to a few minutes later. And, and now it's showing a bigger time frame because it depends on the traffic at that moment. If I set a time in the night, let's say at 5 am, now you can see it's green color. The times are slightly faster because usually the traffic is more fluent.